Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Khaja Cooks and today I will be making for you some roti. <laughs> so yeah, I've got four cups of cake flour in my bowl and I'm going to throw in one teaspoon of salt. Salt to taste if you want a little bit more, you can add more if you want less, you can add less. Okay, and here yeah, I've got one and a half cups of lukewarm water. I'm going to see, give or take, how much I'm going to need when I need the dough. Okay, can you see? Yes, you can see. So I'm going to add my one cup first. And see if I need more. Yes. Now I'm going to add my other half a cup. I'm using the fork for now, but I will dig in with my hands just now. Okay, and I've got some extra flour here, just in case I need more. Okay, and I do add in so a tablespoon of oil. Tablespoon. Okay. And now I'm going to start kneading. And this is the important part of making a nice roti. Is to knead it and give it that time that it needs. Ne? And I'm going to knead this for about... Five to six minutes. You can see properly. Yeah. Need it, need it, need it. <laughs> That's what flour needs and water and the oil and the salt. You need to work the gluten. So I'm going to knead away for the rest of the minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've kneaded it now for the five to six minutes and it's getting nice and smooth. I'm just going to roll it out. I can knead it further on my surface here. I'll do that. Stretch it, pull it back, stretch it, pull it back. Now I'm going to let it rest for so 10-15 minutes and I'll come back and then I'll show you the rest. Okay, so my roti dough have rested. I'm just going to cover this here where I'm going to cut it with some flour. And my hands here stick it out and get be easier to work with. Okay. You see there? Yes. So while you do this, you know, though I've rested, you prepare some oil and butter. This is rama butter that I've um, just softened a small bit. And yeah, I've got some oil and my flour and tiny bit of baking powder. And this is, there's so many ways to do this. Some add baking powder, some don't. I like to use it. So it's entirely up to you. Okay. So there I've got that. No? And now I'm just going to cut my roti dough balls. Ne? 
and the size also of what you like. Everything is about who, how you like it. Eh? And I just take some oil and I pat it on here. I take my rolling pin and I start roll the dough into a nice size. And guys, my roti is never a perfect round size. Never. Don't know why. <laughs> and I also, it doesn't bother me, ne, guys. It doesn't bother me. And it shouldn't bother you either, because it will come out right eventually. So I take a little bit of butter and put it on my roti ball rolled out. Okay. And for for, I prefer using like. Ramo, Marvello, those kind of butters, not the pure butter. That is only my personal taste. Okay, and then I just take a tiny bit of baking powder, just a a drizzle, okay? so you're in there. That's it. And then I take my knife and I cut it in, I lift it up on both sides, give it that turn and fold over. Put this way. Fold over, can you see? Yes. And the oil keeps it nice and workable. And then I just turn on the opposite sides, both sides of the roti, like that, like almost like a, like a pattern. <laughs> and this is quite small. It's fine. That's for e-boy. <laughs> and there it is. Now I'll use a, a bigger piece. As I said, guys, I'm not very finicky about sizes because... It's all going to be eaten up, I promise you. <laughs> okay. Oh, that looks a bit nice and round. <laughs> okay, and I roll it out quite thin. That's why it's important to have the oil there, because the oil has not sticking too much. No? And then my butter. Cover all the spaces here on top, top of the roti because that is going to make it that nice and flaky, isn't it? The butter. Cover it. The cumin. Now the baking powder. I'll just do that. Just here and cut and then turn again. And we do this. Oh, come on. <laughs> Another piece. And let's roll again. Oil. Can you see it comes out round eventually, even if it is not rolled out <laughs> properly. And I have quite a small space, so yeah, I forgive myself for that. <laughs> okay. Do this. Okay, a little baking powder, just drizzle here and there. 
this will puff up once you fry it. Okay. Okay, and then you do that so you can get that nice layers in your hurti. Okay, and then you just continue with the rest of the dough. <laughs> okay, so I've rolled and buttered all my roti balls and I've got about 12 medium-sized rotis out of those four cups of, of flowers and flour and I think the flowers <laughs> and I think <it's laughs> so I'm just gonna drizzle some flour over here and clean wrap it and put it in the fridge and let it get nice and cold and firm up so for about half an hour and then I'll be back and then I'll fry these rotis for you and show you what it looks like. So into the fridge this goes. Okay, and the rotis is nice and chilled. And I'm gonna switch on my stove here for my pan. And now I'm just going to put some flour here on my surface and on my rolling pin. Okay, now this is nice and soft. And while the pan is heating up, I'm going to roll out my roti. <laughs> and I roll it out nice and thin. You see, it came out quite big. Eh? Okay, you feel that. The going the what does clover want? Okay, just give it some okay while that heats up. Okay, and you just feel where did you now? Give it this. At the pan, I'm going to throw in the roti. Yeah, that sizzle. Mm. That is what you want. Yeah? And we're going to fry that. And while that's frying, I'm going to roll up my other roti. And just keep the camera there. Yeah? Okay. Move it aside also. See how I roll this up. Well, not bad. I can roll it out a little bit round. <laughs> and just use the flowers, your friend, here. Yeah? It's, it's flowers, your friend. Let's see if you can see that. You see? When it's frying so long, please. See what came out. You just check if it's the color that you like. and flaky and crispy that is. Yum. Okay. 
Okay, that is done in the plate there. Now we're going to throw the other one in. And throw the other one in. While that's frying, I'll just roll out my other roti. And that's how I do it. Okay. Check here again. Mm. And now I'm just going to finish the rest of it. Eh? You just check every time if it's the color that you like. Turn it around. So used to doing this, yeah. I just use my. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna finish off the rest of my rutis. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did and I'll see you next time. Bye!